Hello, I'm Andrew Tangberg with WCTV, here to talk with Kurt Tangberg to see what makes him and his life. Hi, I'm Kurt Tangberg, and for me, the most important aspect of my life is physical fitness, trying to be in the best shape I, I can be. I found triathlons as a, a form of physical fitness and training that accompanies, accomplishes that. The swimming portion allows you to get cardiovascular training, the arms, the shoulders, the biking is the... Uh, lower back, legs, and then the running is the whole cardio and the heart. 2000 was the first year I did uh, my first triathlon, and that was at the Tempe Town Lake. It was the extreme triathlon. Got to swim in the lake and uh, experience the wetsuits for the first time and transitioning. Triathlons are neat because it's basically like three races into one. They usually go swim, bike, run in that order, and you transition between each one, and that's where you transition your gear usually starts with a swim and you're in a full wetsuit. You might have a skull cap if the water's cold, like 50s or so, you'll have goggles. And you'll start in the water, you'll swim, you'll come in a transition area, you'll take the garb off and get into your bike equipment. You may wear different types of tennis shoes or different shoes for the bike. The helmet is mandatory in most triathlons and maybe some kind of uh, eyewear. Then you'll finish the bike and you'll look gonna do the run. And you'll take off the helmet and such and transition to the run aspect. So it's like three races in one and uh, you need to have those three sets of equipment all in the transition area, being timed all the time. I often would look up to the sky when airplanes fly over, I still do, and in 2008 I went to a big air show up in Wisconsin with my dad and my two sons and that's when the spark started to uh, inside me to become a pilot. And I started my flight training in 2008 when we got back to Phoenix and within a year I was a private pilot. Uh, flying to me is, is a lot of fun. It's the uh, ability to see the earth at two miles high that a lot of people never get to see. It's a lot of training and it's a lot of reward. So the best part of being a pilot or the best thing about being a pilot is the freedom, the ability to, to take off from where you want and land where you want, to, to be, like I said, two miles up in the air to see the, the earth and to point the nose where you want and, and go explore another part of the, of the country. And for me, the freedom and the, uh, the exploration is, is the best part of flying. So my latest passion is Krav Maga. This is a Israeli army self-defense training and conditioning that they designed in 1940. So the center I do my Krav Maga training has classes every day throughout the whole day and they have many different types of classes. You can pick and choose what you want and I'm presently in four classes. There's a bag class where you're uh, punching a bag, boxing a bag, learning boxing for hour-long classes. There's the core conditioning where you're doing a lot of core training and a variety of types of exercises. There's the fight basic class where you're sparring with another partner teaching the basics of fighting and how to block and fight. And then the finals, the Krav class, the Krav Maga class where you're fighting with opponents with guns and knives, uh, practice guns and knives, and learning uh, how to defend against those types of attacks. And uh, those are pretty much the main four ones that I'm using right now. So some ask me, some people ask me, of. Uh, of the three, you're a pilot, you do triathlons, you're in Krav, which one do you love the best? I would have to say Krav at this time. It teaches you the, the tools and the, and, the, and the information needed to help protect yourself and your family at very dangerous, threatening situations. What could be better than having the ability to possibly save your life or your family's life in a time? So Krav is, is my love, is my passion. This was Andrew with WCTV signing off.